Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I've had some requests for this next effect. So, check out the broken glass effect in my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 11 is open up. This will work fine for PE 10 and Photoshop Elements 12. Now we're going to look at the images that we're going to look at today. And now look at the uh, glass, the broken glass on the black background. You can find this type of an image in many photo sharing sites. I got mine from High Stock Photo. If you type in broken glass, they have a big selection. Now I just left click, hold, and drag the image over to the image of the girl. I don't want to save that. And I do want to apply the transformation. Now we're going to uh, click on the layer of the glass and change it from a normal layer to screen. Look at that. One thing though is with glass, it's not really clear like that if you take a photograph of it. So we have to apply a texture to it. So I'm going to left click hold and drag my texture. Yeah, right, apply it. Left click hold and drag my texture. And let's just resize this. Now I'm going to change the opacity, take it down to like 30, 44, or like 34 percent. Yeah, like 34. Perfect. All right. Now I'm dragging the textured layer below the glass. I want the glass on top so it'll be more clear. Might be dimmed out a little bit with the texture on top. Now let's select the magnetic lasso tool. And I'm just drawing a circle around where the glass is broken because the texture should not be visible in this area. You can click on the tutorial on the left. Um, so if you want to learn how to work with the magnetic lasso tool. Okay, now once it's done, all I'm going to do is hit the delete button on my keyboard. And one, two, and boom! There it is! So the texture's not there, and shouldn't be, because the glass is all busted out in that area. But there you go! That is the broken glass effect in Photoshop Elements. Thank you so much for watching from Info Puppet!